okay so now we can start our controller right by adding likes and adding dislikes so i will collapse these things out so you can even go to the post likes and dislikes and check what happened over there the exact same thing you are going to do over here as well right um so it's just copying things here and there right uh, but we can't use this exact same function that's the case uh, because this belongs to a specific post and that uh, comments one is belongs to a, uh, a different one so anyway let's first uh, create some table like this but in our case this is not post interaction but it's comments interaction and interaction id is there and i think uh, yeah we need to capture do we need to capture this one let's see yeah you need to capture post id but then how do we render it yeah 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 because comments and post are two different things so if we check our comments uh, we have the specific post as well but i think that's that won't be an issue all you need to capture the comment id right yeah so let's try that and if things went wrong we can change this out as well so comment id is there interaction is there this id is there mm, interaction id is same as before primary key but the comment id is the new reference from comments table is the comment id right let's copy this thing out go to our database go to sql copy this thing script go right so we have our table then uh yeah we can start our controller functions and uh, uh what is our um, model functionalities so go to them comments i don't need these things so let's check this one right so there are a lot of functions we have to cover again but it's almost same as before that's the uh, benefit we have yeah so let's yeah i don't think we don't need to write again and again we can copy these things and you know do the corresponding changes so i will copy these things like this Oh, for that let me check my documentation so otherwise we will end up in some issues right copy these things go to the m comments and paste but now we have to change yes comment interaction and i'm going to manipulate comments table uh so likes is there 
but now it's comment ID and uh, this also comments and yeah this thing is comment ID this thing is comment ID this thing is also comment ID and uh, thing as the so I will make this as maybe comment ID right so comment ID here and there just if you want you can you know uh, make a find so you, you can easily do the changes so I will first change these variables for each function okay most ID again over here yes sir right then let's go upward now I will yeah I will change this one and instead of v post we have this v comments comments so you don't need to have post id instead of that you need this one comment id i guess okay then over here as well again over here And this is the comments, the ID things, and it goes out. And yeah, so instead of <coughs> post interactions, now we have comment interactions. So change those table names. Then uh, let's make it as add comment interaction over here as well. Add set comment interaction, get comment interaction, and is comment interaction exist. Okay, then let's copy these things. Comment ID is going to be changed. Post sorry, post ID going to be changed. Then over here as well. Finally over here. And I think uh, controller is uh, sorry, model is done. But yeah, maybe if there is any issues, we can debug later. And then we can go to our Yeah, uh, yeah, have a controller, right? So, comments over here. Let's check our post. These are the post stuffs. Okay, top to delete the so post in direction. Okay, so let me check my documentations first. One, two, three, four. Yeah. This things goes to here. Make it as comments interactions. So as usual I will rename those right in comments likes copy this thing then this one this one as well and this one then let's change the parameters so parameters needs to be changed this manner over here as well 
and here right and let's change the post model we don't need the post model we need the comments mode uh, all the comments model like this Add model right. Then we can interchange these things with respect to our uh, our model. Yeah. So copy this thing. Then we can. In this task, right. okay. That's it, I guess. Then uh, we can go. Of, uh, yeah, comment interactions part likewise in the post interactions all you have to do is you need these four functions the comment interactions but uh, let's in these things as comments, likes, and things like that. Right, so we don't need post study instead of that. Then how this variable is. Okay, we don't need this post lights instead of that. We need comment lights. Comment lights. We have it. Yeah, comment lights. Here as well. And here and here. Then, as before, we need to call comments uh, controller. Okay, then this stuff needs to be changed as well, like this. Right, so don't change this one uh, because it's a method post and get request. That's that's okay. But now we need to call the specific functions over here as well. So if you go check out the post interactions, we have ik post likes. So I will copy over here, but now with comments like and is for the dislikes uh, but if you go over here it's comments dislikes and in post likes but if you go over here this is in comment likes likewise for the dislikes this a post dislikes so it needs to be uh the comments is like then this is the post likes this needs to be the comments likes finally we have this one right 
maybe yeah. Oh, did I? If you like this, adding a like for to this statement. Let me check. Yeah, the board needs to be in the same condition. So in post dislikes, in comment dislikes, and let me change this post ID stuff like this. And in the post interactions as well, we have missed pronounce this in post dislike thing. So let's add that one over here. And so it must be within in this else state <coughs> right so now we can check i guess so let's first try these two okay working let's add one come in let's check post interactions table not the upper comment interactions table okay comment has been displayed as like so if i reload it yeah the like count is there uh, but when I'm rendering it, I need to change these values as well. Again, uh, <clears throat> you go to the comments interactions. Uh, I think comment like counts is not working. So let me check why is that. Uh, so it's comments likes count. Comment likes count okay um, because we haven't specified an ID over here. These are just uh, you know class right. So let me specify this sort of a ID for this specific. Uh, comment and it needs to be concatenated with corresponding comment ID. Likewise, uh, go to this comment dislike count thing as well. Copy that thing out. Go over here. ID. something yeah there is this uh, line and comment ID right so let's try this thing out okay now whenever I yeah now this one thing but as usual no uh if you can see uh I can add the uh, infinite amount of uh likes because uh, it's checked at the javascript whether i already had the stylings or not so initially i must render those stylings over here as well uh so how can i render those things um whenever i'm showing a specific comment i think i need to make another view instead of using this view if you go check out this one um Post interactions is there. Yeah. Um. So how? Yeah. Uh. I think we need to check our 
Force Controller So problem occurs in whenever I'm rendering these comments it must show those stuff okay, so when it comes to pause we just have this one so let's get post by id get post by id so yeah we are doing a inner join over here that's why we have that interaction stuff over there so i think we need to do same thing over there as well but So I will just copy these things and when it comes to M comments uh, you have this get comments thing so it call this specific one associating with the post ID if I just paste over here like this so now post interactions must be changed as comments interaction right so the next thing we need to change is that uh, this one we post as we commence then uh, this thing is to be changed on as well uh, instead of comment interactions we can call yeah in, instead of post interactions we can call comment interactions uh, and we can concatenate like this but whenever I'm concatenating again yeah first it needs we consider these things this is specific thing and uh, next one is not the post ID but comment ID so this thing needs to be changed as comment ID but uh, There are several issues, I guess, because we need to filter out the post ID thing as well. How can we do that? So we can change this thing as comment ID and this one as comment ID. and uh, this one has post id so let's execute this query first with the specific post let's say uh, first post maybe so we have a first post yeah let's execute this one yeah, we don't have anything because yeah our comment interactions existing <coughs> <coughs> so this specific criteria 
Uh, right, so the issue is uh, I think we don't need these things. So let's just backtrack everything for the previous position. Okay, so now we have these stuffs. So since we explicitly specified this get comment interactions and set comment interactions and other stuff we can call this function when i'm rendering a specific comment thread right so all you have to do is just go for the comments controller so this is the place where i'm rendering comments so if you check v comments view we already have this specific post id so we can uniquely identify which comment thread that we are going to render so if the post id is same that belongs to a specific comment thread uh, and these are uh, four different comments on that comment thread that's the logic we need to use over here uh, yeah so first we need to check Whenever I'm rendering it, uh, do I have a, a self interaction or not? Okay, because only a specific user will see his or her own comment interactions, right? As a style. So just go over here. Let's said if a statement. So let's call this model. So we need to call is comment interaction exist function. So is comment interaction exist yeah, this function. So if comment interactions are exist with respect to this specific uh comment uh, the comment that i'm rendering right and i need to pass the use id as well so user id so how can i take the use id use id can be taken as a session from the session is use id then it will be passed over here so let's check this function signature okay so comment id then we pass the use id right right so if i check let me quickly check that one yeah i must interchange these things use id then yeah comment id then use id okay so i can determine whether i like or not for this specific post then i can take the self interaction so self interaction so again it's something like this but uh, this is get comment interaction over here get comment interaction so when you when i'm getting a comment interaction i'm taking as a row so let's check our model to so select all from comment interaction we yeah. have comment id and use id equals to this one this yeah okay so then i have this self interaction as a row then i can take or reassign the self interaction only from the comment interaction which is this one So I 
can only take the interaction key because I don't need the entire row. So if such interactions are not exist, the self interaction is simply empty. Like this. Okay, so that's all we have to do. Then whenever I'm rendering these lights. I can check whether I have already liked or not. So let's say um, if I like then self interaction is specified as like. So if it is like then echo but then it simply a code this thing but uh, with an active class for this thing with active class if not which means else else echo without the active class so if i dislike then that thing go over here so dislike so functions yeah scheme attack is like this so go to the else then look at this thing over here then make it as active right so i think it must render correctly now so let's reload the page yeah now i can see whether i have liked or not so now if i'm click this thing and i reload it yeah <clears throat> that thing will remain same so i can dislike and like you know like any sort of a pattern i like so that thing is stopped and if i go to a different post let's say something like this okay so that's the previous post so if i go to here and i can like or dislike for this specific post as well and it won't affect for this comment thread so these are three individual comment threads okay yeah so that's how we implement a comment interaction system for a specific comment thread and uh, yeah in the next video we can cover more things uh, but right now i think this will be enough and uh, yeah thank you